Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Oracle SQL Developer to an Oracle database. I have pinned the Oracle SQL Developer icon to my desktop. That's it here. So I'm just going to double click on it to launch the Oracle SQL Developer. To connect to an Oracle database from Oracle SQL Developer, you click on the Connections tab. So we're saying, look, just click on that, and that will open up a new connection page. If that doesn't launch, just click on the plus sign here where it says New Connection, and that will give you this screen here. Connection name, you just give the connection whatever name you want to call the connection. So I've called my connection name Oracle 11G Express Connection. The username, which is a username for the schema for the Oracle database, I'm going to use the HR schema. And the password is also HR. You've got an option to save the password if you wish to. And if you want to indicate a color for your connection, you can do that because it's possible to have different connection to different databases. So you may want to identify which database you're connected to by the color. So I'm going to click on this connection color and just select a color. I'm going to go for this color. So, and you've got an option to save the password. I would not recommend you save the password for security reasons in case anyone has access to your computer and also it's not a good practice to do that and within the oracle side of things you should have automatically it includes the name of the host name which is the local host or if you don't want to type in local host you can put in the ip address which is 127.0.0.1 that's the same as local host the port number is 1521 and the seed is XE, which is the name of the Oracle database. So once you've done that, you can test the connections to click on test to see if everything checks out. Okay. So it's just testing, trying to connect to the Oracle database. Um, okay. It looks all right. So what we need to do now, we click on connect. And you can see here, you can see my connection color. Uh, the color is not that good, so I may have to go back in to change the color. But you can see here, that's the color for my connection because I indicated. And you can see here, everything here is lined up with the color I have chosen. All right, so this is useful where you have different connections to different databases. So if you're trying to run a query or execute a query against a database, the color can help guide you as to which database you're trying to execute on. If you want to change the properties for your connection, you can do that by right clicking on the connection here and go properties. I don't like this color, so I'm going to change it. I'll click on the drop down and I'm going to give it a say darker color and see how that looks and I'll click on save so you can see the color has changed all right so I'll click OK so I now have an orange looking color for my collection but if you want to change your collection color just go to properties and click on the drop down and just change the color that way so let's test to see we can communicate with a object in the database. So I'm going to go and run a quick query on a database. So I'm going to query a table and the table I'm going to query is called the employees table. All right. So here I'm doing select star means select everything, all the records, from this table called employees. So you can see here, I've got um, little squiggly lines here. So if I click there, that 
would should execute the query. So it looks like the collection is asking me if I want to connect to this database. I say OK. It's asking for the password. So I just need to enter the password again and click OK. And then it should execute the query. So you can see here is now interacted with the table from the database and it has produced the output I expected because I've told this query here to get me all the records from this table called employees which belongs to this Oracle 11G Express. So that's it. In this video I have um, shown you how to connect Oracle SQL Developer to an Oracle database. Our connection was successful and also were able, I was able to test and interrogate data from one of the tables in the database. So that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.